And we are even getting a double rainbow. Look how happy little Evie is. She's dancing. What's up everyone? There's something to celebrate. Let's drink some real Japanese whiskey. Ah, how I love Japanese whiskey. Yeah, I'm celebrating reaching 20 subscribers. I was stuck for about half a year at 7 subscribers and now I finally managed to grow my channel to 20. But I'll be honest with you, it's all thanks to a friend who discovered that I was doing videos. Well, he discovered it because I told him when I was drunk at our Christmas party and now he's been advertising it everywhere. And that's also the guy I mentioned in the past who inspired me to make videos. He has been doing great travel videos privately and I hope that he finally starts his own channel so he can display his talents. Anyways, in our next video we'll be covering the next two days of our Japan series. That's the time we spent in the Shirakawa Go Kokayama World Heritage Site. Right, let's start with the video and don't forget to subscribe or like if you enjoyed it. Mr. Donkey is ready for another day of traveling. Let's go. I'm gonna miss Kanazawa, I actually like it here. Our next stop, Takaoka City Center, where we'll have something to eat, buy, buy our tickets for our bus travel today and tomorrow. And we'll see what else there is to discover around here. As we are walking from the Shinkansen Takoka station to the center of the city, we discovered this beautiful residential area that you are seeing right now. It's really pretty to see how the Japanese really live outside of the centers of the city. And I think this is actually the temple we came to see. But it's, well, it's nothing very fascinating. Oh no, actually this is the temple. This makes more sense. This is actually the temple. With the nice beautiful uh, autumn trees. And construction of course on the main door. Like always when we visit the temple. It seems to be a bit bigger than we thought in the beginning, right? So this is the Tsuriuji temple. Uh, Takoka National Treasure. So yeah, this temple was built actually in the 17th century as far as I know was obviously inspired by China back then and it was burned down many times like all the temples or almost all of them in Japan and rebuilt like a few times. The good thing about this one is that there are no to almost no tourists around so um, we'll have a all. more peaceful time checking it out than for the temples. Right, now we are on the bus to Ainokura. That will be our last stop for today. Spend our night on an old 200 year old farmhouse. I love this music, it's so funny. So, this is pretty cool here in the bus station at Ainokura Aguchi. I know Kura, I have no idea. Uh, they, have, they have some lockers where you can leave your luggage. It doesn't even tell for how long, but we left it the whole night and we only paid 200 yen for it. That's nothing. It's really great. And she's drinking beer in the morning. It's coffee. Right, we arrived at the bus station of uh, Aino Kura. Uh, it's raining, but luckily not as much as it was raining on the way. Now we have to walk for about 10 minutes until we reach the village. But the way here showed that this area is very beautiful. Pretty remote valley with a lot of forest and trees. 
the way I like it. We seem to be pretty off season right now. As you can see, the whole parking lot, there's no cars at all. at the village so far it's beautiful but it's still a bit early so there are still tourists around my well, tourists we are tourists as well but tourists that come here for one hour and then leave again but after that it should be really cute to walk around and also it just stopped raining just for us We're now walking up to the viewpoint, but I've just had a ba very bad news. This is a no drone zone. Why? Why are they doing this everywhere? I'm not using it to spy on someone, I just want to take some nice aerial footage. Really, pisses me off. beautiful view sitting around and it started to rain again I would even call it it started to pour again yeah in one second from nothing to pretty much pretty heavy rain what the hell well but it does look awesome because it's this misty look to the village check this beautiful sky it happens thanks to the rain and we are even getting a double rainbow. Look how happy little Evie is. She's dancing. As we once again arrive at the village, the rain stops as fast as it started, leaving us with a beautiful sunset sky. This is our Gasho Tsukuri. Oh, this is our small room. Cute. I want to take a picture. If you go here, you come out here, there's the dining room. Oh, there's a bit of smoke in here because they lit the fire. Go up here, this is like the entrance where we leave our shoes. After here it's no shoe zone. So let's go out here. This is like the corridor where we can also go to our room. We can sell some water over here. This is I think this? No, not this one. I think it's this one, yes. Oh those both this is the other end of our room. Okay. <laughs> えっと、ディナ。ディナタイム。え、メイビー6オクロック。オッケー。うん。それが、えっと、そうだな。え、4オクロック。え、シャワー。オッケー。オッケーね。うん。今あの、ノー、ノー。そう、this okay. 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 is the life of our 5th day in Japan. I didn't record the awesome evening we spent with Kunihiro and the other two couples obviously because I think that would have been disrespectful but let me say that it was a really great experience I mean Kunihiro even sang Japanese folk songs to us using Japanese folk instruments that they built in the village The Japanese food was obviously awesome and it was all cooked by Kunihiro's wife 
Well, cookie might actually be the wrong word because they use the kettle that they have in the living room above their fire that they also use to hit the building in the winter. But let's skip to the next day where we are going to Shirakawa go and we'll also be talking a bit about what we experienced with Kunihiro at the Yomoshiro Gashotsukuri. Now our experience at Ainokura is ending. Are you sad or happy? Kind of sad, it was really, really cool. But I have to say, I don't know what you will do the whole day there. It's, yes. it's kind of boring. But it's ladies, it was a worthwhile experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful staying in this rural area. area. And also and the, the, people. the people are oh so nice. God. It was so... So fun to spend the evening with them. We were like uh, six guests, well, three couples, and uh, you know, the man of the house was there entertaining us, telling yeah. us stories. Yeah. I mean, his English is very lacking, but it was still enough to understand him. We had like a Japanese couple, yeah. a Singaporean couple, and us talked a lot. We drank uh, plum, wine. plum wine, umeshu beer of course and uh, then the Japanese couple even offered us some Japanese white wine. It was so good. <laughs> they were so nice. Yeah. It's really great. If you're ever staying in Japan, do something like this. You'll see a lot of the country that you won't see in the cities. Yeah. No, anyways, the uh, next stop will be Shirakawago for a few hours. That's where we will have uh, lunch and Check out the for fake TV? old uh, Gashotsukuri. Fake? Yeah, fake. I mean, they have been moved. Uh, I think they built the dam once and they had to move the houses to a place and now they are pretty... They have a fake layout. And after that it's uh, Takayama for the evening. We arrived at Chirakawago. Sadly, the weather isn't agreeing with us today. It's raining the whole time and now we are climbing steep hill up to the viewpoint of the city. We stay here for about three hours where we will also have lunch. After that we take a bus to Takayama city. I mean Shirakawa Go is now almost finished and um, to be honest it's not really worth it I think well of course if you are passing by and, uh, and you have some free time sure you can check it out there are some beautiful buildings and some nice next to it thing is it's really full of tourists and you see that uh, the village has been built for tourists it's not really as natural and you don't get the same flair as you get in Ainukura so if you have the possibility and you can choose, I'd rather take an evening and night in Ainokura than coming here for a few hours. Landscape is, the landscape is still beautiful, but that's pretty much all. Right, welcome to our room in Takayama. I actually thought it was a ryokan for some reason. I was really confused. I also thought we'd be staying here for one night, but I actually booked for two nights. Really, really confused. Anyways. Little room tour. Well, it's a little room, so you get a little, a little room. That's room not much to do. <laughs> Double bed. I think my fiance is going to be happy. There's a sitting area. There are some windows. I don't know if they can be opened. They can be opened. So, but there's no view, so that's not very interesting. So this ends the fifth vlog of my Japan series and the uh, fifth and sixth day of our stay in Japan. Sorry for the very dark footage at the end. I didn't realize that my GoPro had the wrong settings on, so I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next episode, we'll be exploring Takayama. Bye-bye.